for part A, show that cosec theta minus sine theta is equal to cos theta cot theta. So let's start with the left hand side. Cosec theta is 1 over sine theta. Whenever we have fractions added or subtracted together, we want to generally combine them. So let's make a common denominator. That will be sine theta in this case. So the minus sine theta now becomes minus sine squared theta over sine theta. Combine the two things. The numerator is now 1 minus sine squared theta. And we can then use the rule sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. And then we can rewrite the numerator as cos squared theta. Looking at what we have over here, we have cos times cot. Cot is cos over sine, so this we can rewrite this as cos theta multiplied by cos theta over sine theta. That's the same thing. These two things are the same. And what we have here is just cot theta. So this then becomes cos theta cot theta, which is then our right-hand side. Now for part B. So we're trying to show, or we're trying to solve rather, this equation here. It says hence as well. Hence means we're using the previous information. So looking at the equation that we have over here, I think what would be best is to replace the cosec minus sine with cos cot. So the equation that we have here can be rewritten as, using the identity above, it can be rewritten as cos x cot x is equal to cos x cot 3x minus 50. Now there's different ways in which you can solve these questions. This is one approach. Now what you don't want to do at this point is to cancel out cos x from both sides. You'll lose solutions that way. What we do instead is we bring everything to one side and then we factorize. I'll just write down that we're solving between 0 and 180. Yep. So bring everything to the left hand side, cos x cot x minus cos x cot 3x minus 50 is equal to 0. And now we can factorize out cos x. So we end up with this. So if this is equal to 0, then this is 0 and this is 0. So for cos x equals 0, notice how we wouldn't have got this if we had cancelled out cos x from both, from both sides. So that's why you don't want to cancel them out. You'll lose solutions. We would have lost out on the solutions from cos x is equal to 0. We're solving between 0 and 180. So inverse cos of 0, we end up with x is equal to 90 degrees. And then if we think of our cos graph, there isn't another angle where cos x is equal to 0 in between 0 and 180. That's going to be this region here. So that's our only solution for cos x is equal to 0. Now we can move on to the other part of this equation. So the cot x minus cot 3x minus 50, that is also equal to 0. If that's equal to 0, then this multiplied by this, the whole thing will then end up being 0. We can rearrange this. Cot x is equal to cot 3x minus 50. And then we can use the fact that cot is 1 over tan. So this becomes 1 over tan x is equal to 1 over tan 3x minus 50. We can then do the reciprocal of both sides. Tan x is equal to tan of 3x minus 50. And this is where this question gets tricky. So we're trying to solve this equation. This isn't an equation that you see in most questions. To solve this, let's think of an example. So I'm going to say, let's say we're solving tan x is equal to tan 45. Now, if we were to do inverse tan of 45, of tan 45, sorry, then we would end up with x being equal to 45 degrees. You can type that in your calculator. 
but you also don't need to, the inverse tan and the tan just cancel out. So we get x is equal to 45. But that's not the only answer. Remember that for a tan graph, we can add or subtract 180 as many times as we need to to get all the angles in our domain. So we can, to this 45, we can add or subtract 180 as many times as we want to. So I'll put n here, where n represents an integer. Add or subtract 180 as many times as we need to. All of these would be solutions to this equation. So for, for example, tan of 225, which is just adding 180 to this, tan of 225 will be equal to tan 45. So how do we apply this to this? Well, if we look at the first equation that we had, tan x is equal to tan 45, we ended up with x is equal to 45 plus or minus 180m. We do the exact same thing with the equation that we have here, and we end up with x is equal to 3x minus 50 plus or minus 180m. Now we can just rearrange this. So I'll bring the x to the right-hand side. I'll bring all of this to the left. So plus or minus 180n. The minus 50 now becomes plus 50, and that's equal to 3x minus x. Okay, so this is this bit here is 2x, so 2x is equal to, I'll keep this as, I'll just change the order, just because it's a bit nicer, 50 plus or minus 180m. Divide everything by 2, we get this, and this will tell us all of our solutions for the equation that we have here. So, first solution would be when n is equal to 0. Remember that we're solving between 0 and 180. That's what we had earlier. That's what we were told, between 0 and 180. So then our first value would be when n is equal to 0. Then we end up with x is 25. Then put in n is equal to 1, we would end up with 115. n is 2, we end up with 205, but that's not in our domain, so we can ignore that last value. We can remove that. And then we had 90 degrees from earlier. So when cos x was equal to 0, we had x is equal to 90. So that will also be a solution. So these would be our final answers.